Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teach. Well, guys, um, I was checking yesterday some of the messages that some of you sent through the um, WhatsApp group, and apparently you had like so many questions regarding to the to what we saw yesterday, right? Like A and some any. So some people were kind of confused, like they didn't even know what to do or or something like that. So today we will try to to refresh, like try to verify if you have like um any question or something and we're going to try to do that okay so it's already time to start guys thank you so much for being always on time and well that shows that you are interested in what we're doing okay so um as i was saying uh we have this like some of the exercises that we didn't finish yesterday. So um, I don't know, I saw that someone asked a question that it was like, if it is in negative, like, like in this part, that if was it negative, if we're going to use any or something like that. I don't know who asked that question. So, but I would like to ask you, is there any question guys or something that you didn't completely understand yesterday about the use of a and some in any, or that's completely understandable and you have no questions at all? Because we need to, I mean, to completely understand everything about this part and not to have any doubt. So now is your moment to tell me if there's questions or not. So we, if there's no questions, I will move forward. So there's questions or there's not. Teacher, yo, la misma interrogante que tenía ayer. Uh -huh. con respecto a lo que puse en el grupo que mencionaba usted de que porque estaba en negativo en la última donde dice but there isn't carpet on the floor vaya mencionaba que era any entonces mi duda era porque en la en la tercera donde dice but there isn't bookcase in my room era ah hey hey creo que se dice 
y no en, y si, entonces se me decía que porque era negativo, pero según lo que el cuadrito que usted nos, pues, nos mostró anteriormente, uh -huh. era eh, para lo que es singular, se ocupa siempre A o A, dependiendo si uh -huh. comienza con vocal o consonante, ajá, uh -huh. exacto, en singular. Yes, uh, so um, we, we have to clarify this part because um, every time here that if we have a singular or plural, si tenemos un singular el, o un plural, eh, A and N solo lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos una oración afirmativa o positiva, ya sea que esté... Eh, en singular o en plural si es en singular solo tenemos dos opciones a y n si es plural y está afirmativa o positiva vamos a utilizar son pero en cualquiera de las otras si es negativa no importa si el, el, el sustantivo o el noun en este caso está singular o plural pero si está negativa, siempre, siempre tenemos que utilizar N. So, probably, probablemente, eh, yesterday, cuando estábamos dando las respuestas, probablemente yo no me fijé que estaba negativa. And that's why I said, okay, it's correct to say there isn't a bookcase in my room. But according to the information that we have, If it is negative, no importa si es, si el sustantivo está singular o plural. Si está negativa la oración, siempre tenemos que utilizar N. So, is, is that clear, Sarah? Yes. All yes, right. thanks. All right. So, um... Moving forward, guys, with the exercises that we didn't complete yesterday, it is this part. And I don't know if you did it at home or not. Did you work at home or not? Honestamente, vea. Did you work on them or not? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So I'm going to ask some people randomly to verify if you worked in this. And the first one is going to be Anna Yancy. So Anna Yancy, on sentence, on this one, number two, what will be your sentence? No, no, hice, teacher, pero eh... Porque no alcanzo a distinguir las imágenes, pero veo que es right, tenis, just... ¿verdad? Tenis. Okay, sí. it's a... Sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería. Um... There are. There are. Why would, the, would it be there are and not there is? ¿Por qué sería there are and not there is? There are you know there is. Um, ¿Por qué? Porque se refiere a un tenista. No, todo, no, no sé, teacher. All right, let me see. Carlos Guevara, do you have any idea of what are we talking about? I don't have ideas. No ideas, not at all. So how about you, Claudia? No ideas? Okay, let me see someone else. Claudia, any idea? Claudia Valencia. The art sería singular. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm, I'm talking about the example number two, this one, number two. 
No, okay. Lisette, I see that you raised your hand. So, do you have an idea of what we are talking about? Uh, teacher, yo puse, there is a tennis court in the hotel. In the hotel. Okay. It's the example, let's say that um, la, la estructura, digámoslo así, que está correcta, más no es la respuesta correcta. Um, But the structure it, is okay. No entendimos, quizás, teacher, este, realmente lo que, lo que se pedía. Mm -hmm. E incluso, recuerdo que tú dijiste, ok, si las, los cheques son positivos y las cruces negativas. Uh -huh. So, does anyone de los 20 que estamos en la reunión have any idea? Alguno de todos de los ¿Cuál que sería estamos. ¿Cuál la correcta entonces, teacher? So, en este caso, let me see. I got Elizabeth Campos. Do you have any idea? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, uh, tennis cards son canchas de tenis. Mm -hmm. Yo pienso que sería <laughs> there is some tennis cards. Algo así, porque son algunas o no. La, la, es, la estructura, repito de nuevo, está bien, pero hay una palabrita que todos se me están equivocando ahí. So, Ana María, let me see yours. And. La tengo igual, Peter. No so sé qué same. palabrita te refiere. Ok. La pregunta es, ¿por qué the are y no the, the ears? Exacto. Yes. Si ya sabemos que tenis cords There are. está en plural. plural, ¿por qué seguimos utilizando there is? Como lo dijiste tú, Elizabeth, la estructura estaba correcta. Solo there is no estaba correcto. Entonces, sí, en este sí, caso sí. era... There, there, are, are, there are, are tenis. No, yo la tengo de rarty. Pues no la entendí. Sería there are some tennis court. Like that. Exactly like that. So what about number three, though? What about number three, now that we already know how to do it? Ahora que ya sabemos cómo hacerlo, how would it be number three? There is a golf, uh, golf course. Repeat it again. There is a, a golf course. Vaya. Hay de nuevo. <laughs> Vuelvo y Tengo repito. Buena yo. Ok, tell me. Puedo, teacher. Tal yes. vez me sale bien. Go ahead, go there ahead. Is, the, the reason... Uh, sí, sí, sí. Ya me perdí. The reason... No, no, no. There isn't any golf course. Exactly. ¿Por qué no aceptamos la que la compañerita dijo? Porque si estamos diciendo... Desde el inicio, there isn't, y es negativo, ¿cuál de los cuatro, a, and, some, and any, utilizamos para negativo? Any. Evidentemente, any. A veces solo, chicos, es de prestar a, a, to pay attention to those little details. Because those little details pueden o ayudarle a que salga bien, o de plano que no sale mal. So pay attention to those little details, okay? So what about number four? There aren't any discos. ¿Por qué aren't? No. There are. There are. ¿Por qué there are y no there is? Ah, eh, porque 
estamos, hay más de una persona bailando. Pero del objeto del que estamos ah, hablando. Pues, pero una es un, ¿Por qué es singular? Sí. Pero, ah, sería una sola acción. ¿Por qué es singular? Si bien vemos dos personas, pero la palabra que tiene a la par es disco. Estamos hablando del disco, no de las personas. Ok. Pero es singular. Sí. Entonces es there is. So there it, isn't any and disco. Exactly. There isn't any disco. Any disco. So, okay. what about number six? La palabra there, es aren't, uh -huh. there aren't any shops. Any there, shops. there aren't any shops. See, sí. correct. The next one? There, there is. Uh -huh. A bar. There is a bar. Very good. So now I, think that, now I think that you are understanding a little bit more, but at the beginning you were completely lost. So, but that's very good now that you understood a little bit. So these ones, guys, we are not going to complete all this. We are going to do just two or three examples because, because of the time. But let me see, um, any volunteer that would like to help me with number one? Volunteer, no volunteer? Lisette, go ahead. At 12 o'clock, we had a food. We had that food, tenemos una comida. Does it make sense? Some, some, food. some food. Some food. Wow. ¿Por qué utilizamos some? Does any of you know? Exactly. Ahí está la respuesta. Very good. What about number number two? What about this to one? Bright, to bright any, any bread. Exactly. Did you bring any bread? And the last one. Number three. That's the last one we are going to do. Volunteer. I like some water, please. Very good. Okay. All right. So that's very, very good. I'm, I'm very happy that finally you understood. So, um, any question before we go to the to today's class? Any question before we go to today's class? No. No. All right. If there's some questions, guys, today we're going to learn part of the vocabulary about some jobs and occupations. So, um, I'm pretty sure that you already know uh, some of these vocabularies, but What we're also going to do, that we're also trying to do with you guys, is that you understand or that you practice the right pronunciation that we have to do with each one of the words. Because you might know some of the words, but when it comes to pronunciation, you don't know how to pronounce them. And remember, in English, in order to speak with someone that speaks a native English, It's very important that you pronunciate correctly. All right? Because if you don't pronounce correctly, some you might be trying to say something and some people are not going to be able to understand what you're saying. So that's very important, guys. Okay? So um, we are going to start with today's class. It's going to be, as I said, about jobs and occupations vocabulary. So that's going to be today's class. Today we're just going to learn some vocabulary about the jobs and occupations. So I'm pretty sure that you know some of them. So we are going to go one by one. Pay attention guys to the pronunciation because that's a very important part of this. So we're going to go with these four. 
And first of all, I would like to ask, let me see, Maria Luz and Nieto, hello. Hi, teacher. How do you make or how do you say the difference between camisa y profesor? Can you pronounce them so I, I can listen to your pronunciation? How do you make that difference? Um, no? Teacher is in professor and professor e camisa is short. All right, we're going there. Lisette, I Pero... see that you raise your hand. We're going to okay. check, Maria. Thank you. So, Lisette, I see that you raise your hand. So, can you tell me? Uh, the pronunciation, mm -hmm. teacher, uh, the shirt. We're very close to that. Thank you so much. So, this one, guys, we say teacher, teacher. And the other one, it is like un como un sonidito de shh cuando callamos a alguien, vea. T-shirt. T-shirt, teacher, T-shirt. That's the only difference. So it's also very important, guys, that you pronounce correctly those words. Because sometimes I have heard some people trying to say camisa, but they think they are saying camisa, but they are not saying that. They are saying profesor. So that's why I'm telling you, it's very important that you pronounce the words correctly. So we're going to go with the first one, teacher, accountant, accountant, painter, detective. I will repeat it again. Teacher, accountant, painter, detective. So let me see, Jacqueline, can you pronounce them all please? Hello, Jacqueline. Can you guys hear me? Account. Can you hear me, guys? Ustedes me escuchan. Yes. Yeah, now we can listen. Yes. We can hear you. So go ahead. Yes. Yes. Account. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave it there, Jacqueline. Let me see, Claudia Iraeta. Can you please try to pronounce the four words? Teacher, account, painter, detective. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're having problems. Accountant, accountant. And this one, we do not say detect, uh, with, with this, with the, with the last one, number four, we say detective, detective. So it's very important that we stress the words correctly. So I'm going to move forward. We have the hairdresser, we have the plumber, we have the postman, and we have the judge. Hairdresser, Plumber, postman, judge, judge. All right, let me see. Elias Solorzano, go ahead. Pronounce them all, please. Hair, dresser, plumber, postman, judge. The last one was very well pronounced, but this one you say plumber, like in Spanish. And this one we say plumber, like a letter O, plumber. 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 Mm -hmm. And this one we say postman, postman. All right. So we are going to move forward. We have the carpenter. We have the taxi driver. 
we have the dentist, and we have the tailor. Tailor, carpenter, taxi driver, and dentist. Let me see, Brenda Villeda, please pronounce them all. Carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, mm -hmm. Tyler. Taylor. Taylor. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Teacher. Yes. What do you say in Spanish, Taylor? Taylor, that will be a, es un sinónimo de. ¿Cómo decimos a estas personas? Costurero. 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 Mm -hmm. Sastre. 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 Yes. Sastre. Yes, that's, that's the synonym of that. All right. Thanks. So now we we'll go with these four fireman, fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Carlos Guevara, go ahead, pronounce them all, please. Fireman, doctor, acrobat, gardener. Very good, thank you so much. Let's move on. We go with pilot, photographer. Listen, photographer, photographer professor and policeman. So I want to give you guys the difference between a teacher and a professor. The difference between they, them all, it is the following. We are going to say teacher to someone that teaches at a school, at a high school, or even a kindergarten. But if there is someone that is teaching at the university, we are going to call them professor. Okay? Do you understand the idea? Yes. All right. Remember, a teacher will be someone that teaches at a school or even high school or kindergarten. But someone that teaches at the university, we're going to call it professor. So I will repeat it again, pilot, photographer, professor, policeman. So let me see, Jose Manuel Rosales, uh, pronounce them all, please. Pilot, uh, photogram, professor, no, policeman. Repeat, repeat number two. Photogram. Photographer. Photogram, perdón. Photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. Professor. Profe professor. Professor. Policeman. Oh, very good. So now let's move forward. We have chef, astronaut, pianist, and priest. Chef, astronaut, pianist, priest. Erika Cepeda, pronounce them all, please. Chef, astronauts, pianists, priest. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on. We have the butcher, butcher, lumberjack. We have brick lawyer. We can also, guys, call to this person. We can also say that a mason. So, eh, al, al constructor o al, ¿cómo le llamamos? Um, how do we say that? Albañil. Albañil. Albañil, yes. Uh, that person, we can call it in two different ways. We can say a mason. We can call it brick lawyer, brick lawyer or mason, and both of them are correct. Don't synonymous, okay? So both of them are going to be correct. So I will repeat it again. Consulta. Yes. Consulta. Eh, la diferencia, si es constructor, ¿cómo se le llamaría? 
No, both of them are correct. Los dos son iguales. Los dos significan lo mismo. Son so sinónimos. Boy then, y boy then, I'm sorry? Boy then, ¿cómo lo traducería? Building, algo así se escribe. Oh, do you mean? Let me see. Let me try to write it down. So, do you mean? Do you mean this? Builder. Uh -huh. Builder. Builder. Uh, este también es un sinónimo de constructor. Porque este, like this one, así, es el verbo construir. Si yo quiero decir constructor, solo le agrego ER y digo builder. Y son sinónimos. Briglawyer, Mason and Builder. Los tres son sinónimos que al final nos referimos a la misma persona. Ok. So, we're going to say butcher, lumberjack, briglawyer. We can also say Mason or we can say builder and astronomist. So, with that being said, let me see um, Glenda Ramos. Pronounce them all, please. Borcha, Lumberjack, Brigliar, Astronomy. Astronomist. Okay, very good. So let's move on. Let me erase this to right here. All right. So we have a hunter, fisherman, football player, and monk. Hunter, fisherman, foot player, and monk. So let me see Sheila Portillo. Go ahead. Pronounce them all. Okay. A hunter, fisherman, football player, and monk. Monk. Very good. Thank monk. You. Monk. Monk. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. So let's oh, move on. Yes. Uh, what is the difference and between monk and priest? Priest, a monk significa monje. Uh, and, monk. Mm -hmm. And priest is como, como, como un sacerdote. Ah, uh, okay. Y pray, pray. Do you, ese es el verbo. Pray, orar, orar. Sería, orar. orar. Uh -huh. All right. So let's move on. And let me see. Yes. Here we Teacher, have. A, yes. Teacher, perdón. Una, una pregunta. Go ahead. Football player. ¿Qué significa? Jugador de fútbol o futbolista? Futbolista, porque juega. Eh, la palabra anglo fútbol es un anglosismo que utilizamos eh, a nivel mundial. Sí, es una palabra sin traducción, ya que la, la agarramos del idioma inglés. And we use it in daily basis. Ok, gracias, Ticho. Play, playing soccer, quizás sería jugador de fútbol. Soccer player. Soccer player. Oh, let me see. Football player. Esta. Eh, en Estados Unidos... I don't know if you have seen these people. Si alguna vez han visto este tipo de personas que juegan fútbol, pero americano. So, eh, en este caso sí sería eh, lo que tú dijiste, pero en el sentido de fútbol, de futbolista eh, americano, porque también se llama fútbol, pero es americano. So, ¿cómo le llamaríamos a los que nosotros conocemos acá que juegan con una pelota? Eso sería un soccer player. So that's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. Soccer, soccer player. So it will be like this. Soccer. Soccer player. Yes. Y en sí, o sea, ¿cuál sería la diferencia entre soccer y fútbol? Uh, fútbol. El fútbol se le llama. Eh, no tienen sí fútbol una traducción literal, ya que como les dije, les dije, es un anglosismo que todos los países agarraron del idioma inglés. Fútbol, su traducción literal es bola con el pie. 
Esta es la traducción literal. Pero dado a que en Estados Unidos se le llama football player al jugador de fútbol americano, siempre le tenemos que llamar football player. Pero esos que usan like a, very, a lot of things, like covering, como cubiertas, like, like they use something in their, in, in their heads. Y a los que juegan con la pelota, a eso se le llamamos soccer player. So, fútbol no tiene una traducción literal eh, en sí, sino que es un anglosismo. Ok. So, um, let's move on. Let me see. Oh my God, I don't want to work. All right. So, here we have a lot of, uh, let me see, a lot of professions. Let's say it like that. We have a nurse. We have a baker, we have a bet. Bet is a, lo que la mayoría de americanos, they use like contraction of veterinarian or, uh, a, but they use it bet. Or most of the time they use bet instead of saying veterinarian. But you can say both of them, it is up to you. If you want to say veterinarian or if you want to say bet, both of them are correct. So we have a baker, we have a farmer, we have a fireman, we have a fisherman, we have a gardener, a dresser, some of them we already saw them, a journalist, a judge, lawyer. We have a mason here, we can see a mason that it's pretty much the same thing, a mechanic, a painter and a plumber. So some of the ones that we have here, we already saw them. So I put this image right here just because we have a journalist, que es un periodista, the judge and the lawyer. Also in English language, they also can call a lawyer an attorney. What will be the difference between an attorney and a lawyer? Un lawyer se le va a decir únicamente a un abogado, a alguien que sabe de leyes, about laws, acerca de leyes en general. Pero le vamos a llamar attorney a alguien que sabe de leyes, pero tiene una especialidad de una ley. Es decir, Conocemos abogados de lo penal, abogados de no sé qué de familia, abogados de esto, abogados de lo otro. A esos no les vamos a llamar lawyers. Dado que tienen una especialización, se les llama attorney. Les vamos a llamar a lawyer solamente a los que conocen de leyes en general. I don't know if you understand that. Attorney. Yeah. Attorney. Attorney. Mm -hmm. Attorney. So, um, so remember that difference, guys, because that might help you if you have or or if you like speak with actually with someone, and probably you're going to see someone, and someone can ask you about it, and you. Now you already know what's the difference between they both. So guys, when someone wants to know about a profession, cuando quieren saber acerca de una profesión, la pregunta que hacemos es, what do you do? Podemos cambiar el pronombre, right? We can say, what does he do? What does she do? What does your father do? What does your mother do? What does your... Uh, brother, what does your sister do? And so on and so on, right? But the question that we are always going to use is, what do you do? See, so if I ask you, for example, si le pregunto a alguien, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? Nosotros en nuestro idioma lo podemos entender como que nos están preguntando, ¿qué haces en el momento? But in English, it's not like that. En inglés, cuando alguien les pregunta, what does 
she or he do or what do you do se están refiriendo acerca de una profesión, ocupación u oficio que ustedes tengan in your life. Do you understand that, guys? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. So yes. What, yes. what will the question be? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta que entonces utilizaríamos para saber qué es lo que estás haciendo en el momento? Sería what are, let me put it in capital letters, what are you doing? Si yo digo what are you doing, entonces en este, en este caso yo sí les estoy preguntando a ustedes lo que están haciendo en el momento. But, si yo vengo y le pregunto, what do you do? Si yo hago esa pregunta, estoy preguntando, ¿qué? ¿Su profesión, oficio profesión. o ocupación? Any of those. So, it's important, guys, that you know the difference between they both. Porque a veces no podemos confundir. Cuando estamos hablando like fast in English, sometimes we make those mistakes. So it's very important, guys, that you know how to use them and you know and to know the difference between they both. So Shayla, you have a question? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say profession in English? Profession? Profession, yes. Double F. Yes, double S. Uh, occupation? Occupation, ¿verdad? Occupation, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yes. All right. So, remember this. So, uh, when someone asks you this, for example, in the first one, as we can see, that says, what does he do? The answer is, oh, he's a doctor. What does she do? She's a vet. What does your father do? He's a teacher. What does your mother do? She's a chef. All right. So it's very important that you know that, guys. And here we have the same example. So um, before we go to the practice, guys, because that's pretty much it. Is there any questions so far? Uh, no, teacher. No questions? No, teacher. Not at all. OK. So if there's no questions, we're going to go with the practice. And here we have the first part. This one is very easy because what you have to do is just to put the profession, the occupation or the, or something according to the image that you see. So it's very, very easy. It's not that complicated. So you let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. Yeah, teacher. All right. One moment, one moment. Please. All right. Can I move? Yes. Thank All you. Right. Can I move now? Y este teacher, ¿qué hay que hacer en esta? And this one, the, the instructions are unscramble the letters to find the jobs. What does unscramble mean? Desenredar las letras para encontrar los trabajos. Oh, so, ah, como ar armar la palabra. Exactamente, solo que aquí están completely uh -huh, están desordenados. So you will have to unscramble them to find a job, okay? So this is number three. Who prepares car? So in this one is very- Teacher, a la otra no le tomé foto, le podría, esa, gracias. Gracias. So, um, this one number three, what you have to give me is the profession, the occupation, or the job. 
according to the question you have. For example, who repairs a car? Who does that? We already know a mechanic, right? Very simple, just like that. So, and that's it. So uh, let's see, let's go ahead and try to work. Guys, once again, I will request you this time to try to speak in English, guys. Please try to practice, please. If you cannot say, or you don't know how to say what you are thinking, at least try to say some words. Tratar de decir algunas palabras. Si ya de verdad no sabe qué decir, ok. La última situación es speak Spanish. But if you know or if you can speak in English, try to do it. I will be checking that. Voy a estar verificando eso. Another thing. Otra cosa. Hay algunos que en los grupos se quedan completamente callados. ¿verdad? Son fantasmas mientras los otros están... Okay, esto, okay, lo otro, this and this, this and that. So it's very important that you all participate, that you all help between yourself, all right? So please try to do that. So I will be checking that. So go ahead, guys, join your groups and I will be checking one by one.
Hunter. Ya nos van a sacar. Vamos a ver, ahora vamos. No, no, la, la está grabando, no está grabando. Ok, ahora va con la con la cuestión de desengrapar las letras. The letters to fin the the first, the first, creo. La primera. Postman. Uh -huh. Postman. Post, ah, Postman. Es, cartero. Sí, uh -huh. es el cartero. Postman. Uh -huh. Espérame, lo voy a ir a la siguiente parte. Number two. North. No. Number two. North. North. Sería la, Number la otra. Number three. North. Gardener. Sí. Gardener es jardinero. The number one is number one. Oh, it's so difficult. Man. Postman. 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 No. Postman. Sí. Sí, postman. Sí, postman. Postman. Yes. Postman. Juan. Juan. Number one. Number one. Number one. ¿Cómo es? Yes. Postman. 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 P O S T. M A S T. M I N A N Number four Number four M Y el primero que significa Como el hombre Como el cartero 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 De los que reparten las cartas Cartas Correspondencia La number four So, eh, no teacher, clear. no. <laughs> teacher, no clear. Yes, number four. Number four, I think, is teacher.
Eh, sería Mecánico. la primera mecánica. Well, okay, guys, I think that it's enough time for you to complete all the exercises because they were not that complicated, right? Or did you feel that it was complicated? No, teacher. No, right? It was, no. It was it's very, easy. very, very easy, actually. Very so, easy. Only, so, only tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Exercise number one, this one, it will be resolved by group number one. Group number one, it is uh, composed by Anna Yancy, Cynthia, Elizabeth Campos, Erika, Glenda Ramos, Jacqueline, and Victoria. So guys, you all are going to resolve 
this exercise number one. Go ahead. Number one is she is a violin. 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 Sorry. Mm -hmm. Number two. She is number a police woman. Police woman. Number three. Fireman. He is a fireman. Fireman, yes. Number, number four. four. Fisherman. A fisherman. 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 Number very five. good. Number five. five. Number five. Pilot. He is a pilot. He's a pilot. Pilot, yes. He's a bit. He's a bit. He's a bit. Bad. 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 Seven. He's hunter. Hunter. He's hunter. a hunter. He's a hunter. Very good. Yes. Soccer player. Soccer player. Soccer player. Yes. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. Nurse. Yes. And she's a photographer. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, so. Exercise number two is going to be resolved by group number two by Ana Maria, Carlos Guevara, Elena Martinez, Carla Vanessa, Lisette Montoya, Maria Luz de Nieto, and Sheila Portillo. So go ahead. Uh, uh, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number Very good. Yes. Number two. Number two. two nurse. 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 Number, Number three. Number three. Gardener. 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 Yes. Number four. Number four. Teacher. 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 Number five. Mechanic. 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 Excellent. Number Mechanic. Six. Number six. Fisherman. Fisherman. Very good. So I think that it was very very easy. It was not that complicated. So uh, the last one is going to be resolved by group number three, Brenda Villeda, Claudia Raeta, Claudia Valencia, Elias Solorzano, Jose Manuel, Miriam Erazo, and Sarah Elizabeth. El primero sería mechanic. Mechanic. Number two, taxi driver. Taxi driver, yes. Police officer. And repeat it again, number three. Police, police, oh, police office. Yes, both of them ah. are correct. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay. Four. Four. Baker. 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 Journalist. Journalist. Number six. Writer. Writer. We can say writer, que es escritor, writer. or we can writer. say novelist. Novelist. Es, novelist. Es también es novelista. So, okay. very good. So, uh, yes? Three, please. Which one? Number three, three uh, es police, es police or policeman? You can say it police, policía es todo el grupo en general. Police es todo el grupo. If I say policeman, uh -huh. I'm talking about one person. Or if I say police officer, oficial de policía, it's the same thing. Son sinónimos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Las la tres cosas son correctas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, well, today we received some instructions, guys, for human resources or the department that is in charge of the platform. And they were saying, guys, that for today, you need to, let me see, let me check the, let me check the chat that we have. Uh, let me see, let me just check the chat just to verify. Okay, so they were saying, guys, that for today, you should already finish uh, section number one section number two and section number three for today. That's what they said. So if you haven't complete section number one, two, and three, please try to do it, guys. Because at least at this point, at this moment, you should have already those three complete them, completed, right? Because you have to have, at the, at the end of this module, you have to have 80% in order for you to go to the next module. 
So I wanted to ask you that. Are you having any type of problems or situation with the platform? <laughs> or have you worked in all those exercises? Did you complete them all already? No, teacher. No? No, yet. Yo tengo una consulta. Yes, go ahead. Eh, este, como ahora es la última clase, ¿verdad? De, mm -hmm. de esta semana. Yes. Right, pero este, yo quiero ponerme al día. Eh, ¿Lo puedo hacer mañana, aunque ya no tengamos clase con usted? Y se puede fin de semana también. Ya. Yeah. Tiene... No, I mean, I mean, you can work on the platform on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's That's not a problem. So, but at least on Monday, you have to have already completed section number one, section number two, and section number three. Why? Because in section number three, we have the midterm. Tenemos el midterm, que es un examen about the, the three questions, right? So on Monday, el lunes, vamos a revisar eso, el midterm. A ver cómo salieron, okay? So that's why it's very important that you complete section one, two, and three. Okay. So any questions so far? No questions. All right. No there's, question. If there's no questions, guys, this is all for today. I just want to say thank you for coming once again to the class, for participating, and I will see you until Monday. Okay. So do not forget to keep working on the platform. And see you on Monday. Have a good night and good weekend. Enjoy. Have a good okay? night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B